Hello, friends. Uh, my name is Roshana from Roshana Coaching, and welcome to this micro workshop on goal setting in 2022. I put together a few slides for you to make it easier to comprehend and more visible. And um, I've got a three step formula to help you in your goal setting in the new year. So let me share my screen. Here we go. Okay, so goal setting. So step one is deciding what you want. And I realize that sometimes it's not easy. So I've got a couple of uh, tools for you to try. So first is think long term. What will matter in 20 to 30 years down the line? How do you see your lifestyle? So how much money do you earn? What's your house is like? Um, where do you live? <clears throat> what country, city or area you're in? What your hobby is like? So think long term and picture yourself, your perfect lifestyle. A second um, tool is uh, what I call looking back. So imagine you are 100 years old, looking back at your life. What do you think will make you say, I'm so proud of myself. That thing I did was so good. That business I opened, that was amazing. Uh, that career path I took really was my thing. What is it? Think about it. Next one is trust. Um, with amount of information we're bombarded with, with uh, amount of options we have um, in life in general, um, the, it's, it's easy to lose that trust and, and to feel lost, right? So have some trust in yourself, in your inner sage, in the universe, in God, in life, whatever you believe in. Have some trust that um, you know the, what, what you need um, what you need will, will come to you and the opportunities that you seek will actually arrive. So when you operate in this space of trust, uh, you will just feel more positive yourself. And final one is think about your values. So research says that on average, we have around eight core values. What are yours? Is it uh, travel? Is it freedom? Is it uh, being accountable? Is it integrity and work? We're working with ethics. Is it family, um, trust, friendships? Um, is it being green and sustainable? What are your core values? It's important to know them because if you aren't sure what your specific goals are, uh, what your vision is like, then your values will help you guide it. Okay, step two. Set SMART goals. And you probably heard about the SMART acronym. Um, and it's, it's simple to the point that, you know, nothing can, can, from my experience, nothing can really beat it and make it even simpler because it's simple and, uh, and efficient. So S stands for specific. Don't just say, I want to be richer or I want to feel happier. Be specific. What does it mean? Um, exactly uh, to be happy or richer or you know whatever your goal is make it measurable so uh, if we are talking about money so do you want to earn extra um, few thousand pounds what is it the number or is it extra ten thousand pounds um, be specific if you're thinking about a personal goal uh, do you want to meet um, meet your soulmate um, be specific about uh, what is it you want and make it measurable. So when it happens, you can look back and say, okay, tick, this, I've achieved this goal. Um, achievable and realistic. So I would like to take this two as a sort of healthy balance. Goals have to be um, achievable, um, yet they have to be realistic and ambitious. So if you set a goal, that is way outside of anything you've experienced before. So let's let's look at money. So if you at the moment earn two thousand pounds, and then you say you want to earn hundred thousand pounds a month, then your brain will just think about it as oh, it's not achievable at all. Let's just not even pay attention to this. However, if you say that you you know you want to earn two thousand five hundred, that may not be ambitious enough. So find the balance between something that feels 
ambitious, yet still kind of doable, possible. And final one is timely. So is it by end of 2022? Be even more specific, by 1st of December 2022. Or if you're um, setting goals for five years down the line, so pick a date, be really specific, think about this as, um, as your time frame. So you have X number of years, months, days to achieve this goal. So once you have a SMART goal, you know, uh, you know what you want, you, you wrote your goals. Let's move to step three, which is make it tangible. Because if you have your smart goals in the mind, then there's nothing really tangible for to, to, to make it to make it real. Um, I've heard once there's a saying that once it's written on the paper, it exists in the universe. Um, I thought that's amazing, right? So make it tangible, create a vision board for you. Now, <laughs> I've gone through a phase of trying to create this perfect vision board with all the amazing perfect pictures. I bought magazines that appealed to me, which I thought I'll cut out the, the amazing pictures. That doesn't work because I, I just ended up cutting out pictures that um, looked good in the magazine as opposed to something that I truly, really wanted. Yeah. Um, I've tried... Um, Pinterest and just images, trying to find images on the internet. That also doesn't always work, um, though there's more chance of you finding something that exactly suits your, um, your goals, dreams. And, um, I, and then just put them all into envelope, waiting for everything to be ready to create this massive, fantastic, uh, 360 degrees all around in all areas of life vision board. So the problem with perfect is it does not exist. So finished is better than perfect. It's something one of my PhD supervisors told me once when I was working on writing my dissertation. Finished is absolutely better than perfect. Go with that. So just, just if it's work in progress, that's fine. Just start with the most interesting bits. Each time you find an image or a picture that uh, is your... Uh, dream yacht, for example, dream boat, uh, stick to it. You know, it doesn't have to be 100% finished and absolutely perfect, as long as it has inspiring images that correspond to your goals. Write these goals daily. Um, I've heard this from Denise Duffel Thomas, who said that uh, a difference between millionaire and billionaire is that millionaires write their goals every day and billionaires write them twice a day. And I thought this is brilliant, right? And so the skill here is tenacity. Just stick to it. Um, make it a daily must-have routine. Once you have your specific goals, write them down every single day. And final tip here is be open for other opportunities. You don't know where um, this new opportunity that suddenly came arrived in your life, you don't know where it will take you. So don't get fixated that this particular goal will come from this particular um, source. Uh, so for example, if you, want to, um, if you want to buy your dream car, for example, don't just assume that's the only way to, to, to get it is to, to buy it in a, in a dealership, right? You can receive it as a gift. I know, I know it may sound unrealistic, but just hear me out. You may receive it as a gift, you may win it, you may get given this car um, um, through work, uh, through, you know, drive to work scheme or whatever it is. So just think about, have some trust, be open to other opportunities because, um, because um, sometimes life is, uh, life is just interesting. I can send you some opportunities which, um, which uh, are not obvious to us, but uh, they could arrive in different forms. Okay, let me stop sharing. That's the end of my micro goal setting workshop. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to, to comment, uh, follow me on social media. I've got all the links below. Happy New Year and have happy goal setting. Do spend some time on it. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you, bye-bye.